Hello there. One of the other questions I've been getting from you is questions about planning. People saying, what, what, is, what is the point of a three-year plan in, in an environment like this where the world can be turned upside down, where your best made plans can be, can be made redundant by the whim of a string of protein? And there is some point to this. There is a sense, uh, an understanding that strategy is something that is designed to be flexible, even though in many businesses it is designed to, well, point in a rough direction at best. But we can have a strategy. We can still have a plan for ourselves. We can still look out into the future and say, in two years' time, what do I want to be true? What do I want to be true about me and my life? in two years time and then you can pull it back and pull it back and pull it back and you can say in order for what I want in two years time to be true what needs to be true in a year what needs to be true in six months what needs to be true in three months what needs to be true next month and you can take control of something that can seem like it's it's flapping in the wind of, of fate. You can take control of it by saying, right, if this is what I want to be true in two years, you can pull it right back to what you need to do today and this week and this month in order to be walking, sometimes trudging, and at times flying in the right direction towards that two-year goal. And you're absolutely right. Between now and that two-year point, something's probably going to emerge that throws everything up in the air. But what you will know is that at that point when it happens, whether it be six months from now or 18 months from now or the day before two years from now, you will have put in all the work to get you towards that point and none of that will be wasted. Plans are still important even when you know there's going to be uncertainty and disruption perhaps more so, but you have to make them relevant to you in small increments.